throughout the ride on my single speed and part of the reason because I've done it so many times well that's the main part that's the main reason and then and then the other part is I've really um, only rode with with um, um, clipless pedals for many years. I do have flats that I put on one of my old bikes so my daughter could ride that bike. She doesn't ride it in the mountains. And that's my old Niner Sir 9 that she rides. on the uh, pavement, just for fun. So hopefully this video will go through to the end and you guys can confirm this bike. This ride is a clean ride too, no doubt. There's a deer coming down here to get some water. I'm sure water is pretty scarce right now this time of year. We don't get a lot of rain in California, so. Sometimes those lizards crawling up the side of the hill are big and you think it's a squirrel or something. <laughs> So this is a little bit of an exposed trail, but I'm used to it. Most of the locals here obviously are used to it. And we have a lot of fun on it. I don't know if I would consider it a advanced trail, maybe an intermediate trail, but intermediate trail means sections are advanced. See how loose the dirt is, you guys? You can just hear it under my tires being so loose. But I don't mess around with skinny racing tires here. I used to try some of those tires, like the Schwalbe Racing Rouse and stuff like that, but then I realized what the hell am I doing? It, I don't have traction. Hopefully that video took. So there we go. A clean other clean ride.
I don't even feel like jumping that. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, please subscribe and like. And make a comment if you see something on here that you want to ask a question about. If you feel that oval rings are great for single speeds and you don't need leverage and you have your reasons that they have an advantage I'd, I'd like to hear about that I wonder what your impression is of an overboarding for a single speed and why you would choose to use that one more drop